every time I film underwater, I learn something new and I can't wait to share it with you. Well, it's that time of the summer when it gets tough. And I mean really tough. And probably a lot of you are having this same issue. You're catching lots of little fish and you're thinking, man, where have those good ones gone? Well, today I went out with my underwater camera and I thought, you know, I'm gonna film a lot of shady spots because it's really, really hot, very, very intense sunshine and bass love shade, right? So I started checking docks nothing. I started checking shady areas with overhanging brush, nothing. I started checking thick weed beds, nothing. I was beginning to panic. I'm like, man, where did they go? I literally spent hours and hours and hours out there on the water today. And finally, finally, I found the type of structure, type of cover that they were hanging on. I ran across the very steep bank, about 45 degrees, and instantly, almost instantly, I started to see bass. Now, I picked an area that was getting a little bit of shade from some great big trees that were casting some shadows over this steep bank, and I mean, they were piled up all across the other parts of the lake on you know flatter banks low tapering banks i was seeing all kinds of you know sunfish and crappie and catfish and carp but i wasn't seeing bass it wasn't until i got here on that steeper bank that i started to see both largemouth and smallmouth in the exact same area and we had little bass i mean take a look at this school here there's just a ton of little bass right here which is a good indicator for the future we had some other fish probably in that one pound maybe pushing up to that two pound range there was those bass right here and then there were some better fish mixed in as well i mean we had had bass of all kinds of year classes in this one small area and I mean small I think the width of this particular spot of where I was seeing all these fish was probably only 15 to 20 yards in width it'd be so easy if you were out for an afternoon fishing down a bank to miss this spot completely so what can we learn what can we take away from this how can you apply it to your home body of water number one definitely always take shade into consideration during these hot intense intense sunlight summer types of days and i mean if you've got a shady spot that's only a few square feet that can still hold fish and move with that shade throughout the day definitely that is a key factor and many of you know that the next thing if you feel like that you're just casting through empty water kind of like how i felt today when i was trying to find some bass out there just all kinds of empty water if you're running across that really take note on the type of bank the shoreline that bottom composition is it flat is it slightly tapering if that's the case try to find the steepest shoreline that you can on your body of water like i said here this was a 45 degree bank even steeper at some particular points or maybe even bluff banks those bass love to be able to find comfortable water by moving up and down and not expend a ton of energy by swimming in a huge horizontal distance as a matter of fact the surface temperature here today was 81 degrees and down at about 25 feet it was still 79 degrees that's not a huge difference and most of the fish today were hanging in that 12 to 15 foot range but a couple degrees difference can make a difference and they can get there so easily on those steeper banks now the bare bottom no fish down there whatsoever they were still hanging over the vegetation there was some bass on the wood that was here but they were relating to that grass and within the top edge and the bottom edge of it and they were stacked there and that leads me to my next point if you're out there on these really tough days and you catch a fish no matter the size don't leave that spot soak it over thoroughly fish every aspect of that up down left right 
you might have just run across a huge, huge school of summer bass. Like I said, it'd be so easy to cast right by this tiny area that I found today and maybe catch one of these eight or nine inch fish and just keep on moving. But there were good fish down there with them. So if you find this type of area, if you find a bass, fish it over thoroughly, you might be lining up for an absolutely terrific day on the water. And if you would like to watch a video on another aspect, crucial aspect of fishing in the summertime, go ahead and check this one out right here. I think you'll find it interesting. And make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.